Hey Bar Passer, in today's video, I'm going to clue you in on the number one cure to your bar exam problems. If you find that you're throwing in all the mindset tools that you know of, positive affirmations, mantras, meditation, no matter what you try, nothing is working and you see that it's getting harder and harder to calm yourself down. Maybe you find that you're criticizing yourself, beating yourself up for making mistakes or getting a lower percentage correct on your practice questions, criticizing yourself for procrastinating and not getting right away to your studies. Or maybe you use criticism to push you to do more and overwork yourself. Perhaps you're feeling overwhelmed, dread, and anxiety even now, and it's only growing as the bar exam comes nearer. If this continues, you may realize that you won't be in physical condition to go take your bar exam, may end up having to postpone or simply ghost the bar exam on the day of. If any of this might be happening in your life today, then you'll want to watch this video all the way through the end and incorporate the tips that I'm about to teach you. Hi. I'm Jennifer Duclair, the Bar Exam Mentor and Attorney Life Coach, helping you to build an amazing attorney life that you can fall in love with. If you found that you are in the situation that I've described earlier, there's a three-step process that you can apply today to put you in tip-top mental and physical shape for your upcoming bar exam. The first one is awareness. You have to know what's happening to you so that you can address it. A lot of people feel bad and immediately start doing something in order to relieve the feeling. For example, they might turn on the TV and start escaping into their current TV show. They might go grab food and start overeating. Sugar and white flour has a, a calming effect because it overloads the system and, and the insulin response can put you in a very calm state. Sometimes they know that uh, compulsive overstudying or compulsive exercising or other things like that aren't really going to help them. And so they turn to healthier options like yoga, meditation, affirmations, but they find that it takes a long time to implement any of these cures for their feelings. And most importantly, the feelings keep coming back. And so they have to keep doing it over and over again. And that eats up a lot of time. Time that you need to be using to study and to rest and take breaks from your studies. Time that could be used to meet with your family and friends so that you can have a balanced life while you're preparing for the bar exam. This uh, emergency triage method is not efficient, but many people aren't aware of what's actually happening in their physical and mental environment leading up to them compulsively self-soothing through unhelpful methods. If you don't get on top of this, then you'll find that your mental and physical health declines, you're not studying as well, you're not retaining the information, and unfortunately, some people start beating themselves up, which we'll talk about next on what that is and how to fix that. So if you're finding that you aren't even aware of what the problem is, you just know that you feel bad and so you have to jump and go do something to try and escape the feeling, I recommend to you to look at the different areas that you might have mindset blocks when it comes to the bar exam. What reality are you entertaining that is um, causing you this feelings of discomfort? And for that, I recommend the Conqueror's Mindset Bundle where I address the different areas that bar takers usually get blocked in and that usually starts causing them the mindset problems that you will see in your life as you needing to jump up and compulsively go treat with unhealthy coping mechanisms. So in the Conqueror's Mindset Bundle, I break down each of the different areas of mindset blocks and I give you tools to solve them. So the next thing that you need to be able to do is listen. Listening means sitting down with yourself quietly long enough to hear what your inner self is saying. Now, for a lot of people, when they feel uncomfortable, sitting down quietly and listening is the last thing on their minds. They want to do like what we just talked about, jump up, go exercise, jump up, uh, go do laundry, jump up, 
go turn on the TV and binge, turn off their brain, escape the feelings and the thoughts that cause those feelings. That's actually not what you want to do. When you feel uncomfortable, you actually want to stop and sit with that discomfort and go listen to what the inner self is telling you. What is the inner self telling you today, right now, as you're feeling these feelings? When you feel bad, it's the perfect time to stop and listen, because then you will hear what the fears are. You will hear what the the misbeliefs or the lies that your inner self is operating from. You will hear all that, and you'll be able to do something about it. Now, what's not good is when people take the time to listen to themselves, only to then turn around and criticize themselves for what they just heard, gaslight themselves, telling them that what they're fearing is not real, or otherwise mistreat themselves when it's a time for empathetic listening. So if you notice that you're someone who's meaner to yourself than you would ever allow someone to be to you, then this is something that you might want to look out for. Because many people, they might know how to catch the thoughts, but they don't know how to hold space and treat themselves kindly. And so they end up feeling worse at the end of it than they did before they stopped to listen. But stopping and listening is a very important part of curing the bar exam mindset problems that you might be having. So be loving and empathetic. Hold space like a healthy parent or really good friend would. And if you don't know how to do that, the tools inside the Conqueror's Mindset Bundle guide you to doing just that so that you can healthily address the scared inner child and feel better quickly. The final part of the three-step process that you can use to squelch all mindset problems is showing up. Now, I don't mean this literally showing up for your bar exam itself or even for your study sessions. I mean showing up for yourself. Showing up for yourself comes in many forms, like telling yourself, I'm here for you. I won't let anything bad happen to you. I will take care of you no matter what. Telling yourself that. It also means standing up for yourself in the moment when you need to set boundaries or ask for your needs to be met, like actually speaking up for yourself. It means following routines and structures that help yourself feel safe, right? I was talking to a bar taker the other day who was having massive anxiety. In the morning, she would wake up and throw up. In the evenings, she couldn't go to sleep. And that's not the only bar taker who recounted such stories to me that the anxiety was so massive that it disrupted their daily routine. It turns out that she knew how to care for her inner self. She knew how to be present for herself, how to uh, be aware of what's happening, listen to the thoughts, really, you know, get in touch with herself. Yet she was missing a step, a very important step, the, the, the consistent showing up for yourself she would let the self-connection routines drop unless and until something very critical was happening. And then she would start like going inside and, and addressing herself, but it was only in emergencies. How would you feel if you had people that only contacted you when they needed something from you? Or how would you feel if you had a, a person you're dating, somebody significant to you? who basically ignored you until you started to pick a fight or threaten to leave or say that you don't feel loved or cared for or attended to and maybe you you need to be somewhere else. And that's when they would finally start paying attention to you. How would you feel? Well, if you are only doing your self-connection, self-love, meditation, affirmations, and things like that, only when you need to achieve or accomplish something like passing the bar exam or only when things aren't working well for you and it's a last resort paying attention to yourself is the last resort when you've tried all kinds of other things to succeed and they've all failed you've tried all kinds of other things to calm yourself and you're still not growing calm and now finally you're going to take some time on a daily basis to sit down with yourself if that's what you're doing to yourself then imagine the message that you're sending to your inner self. How loved do you think you feel? How safe do you think you feel? How consistent and cared for um, and how protected do you think you feel? Your inner self doesn't feel very safe, loved, or protected at all. And your bar exam performance is largely going to stem from the state of your inner self. So I know that it can be hard to be there for yourself on a regular basis, but that's what showing up means. 
And that's what we do when we love someone. We show up even when we don't feel like it. Do that for yourself. Start with a simple 10 minute a day practice. Inside the Conqueror's Mindset Bundle, I offer a variety of tools that you can use to sit with yourself, to introspect, to listen to yourself. And the tools are categorized by particular mindset blocks that you might be dealing with. So there's always something that you can use for the day and you won't get bored. You can rotate them and you can ensure that you're spending at least 10 minutes a day in quiet introspection with yourself. So awareness, listening, showing up. This amounts to being your own best friend, your own loving parent, being present for yourself and enhancing the inner climate to feel safe, to feel protected, to feel like you're going to be okay no matter what. And when you do this, your bar exam mindset issues, they just melt away. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button below and go ahead and share this with somebody who needs to hear it right now or if you're not already subscribed go ahead and subscribe to our channel because i'm going to be posting a series of videos to help you in the days coming up to this bar exam